So let's say we get a link report back from a vendor, a VA, whoever it may be, and all we have is our referring domains that we got a link from, but we don't necessarily have what target page on our site it's linking to, if there are multiple links to us on the same page, what anchor text that we're using or anything like that. This tool, this sheet combined with Screaming Frog allows us to quickly export all that data. And instead of manually checking uh, 50 links, it has about, depending on how the links are rendered, if they're rendered in JavaScript, those ones you're gonna have to manually check yourself, but it'll parse out 80 to 95% of the links, saving you a lot of time in the process. So let me show you what I mean. So let's say you get back a, a link report that just has the URLs you have. I just grabbed like five or six links from that Matt has to his site. I'm just gonna copy the entire column, even if they're not all URLs. See, I have the header here. That's fine, because Screaming Frog will automatically take out anything that's not a URL. So I'm gonna go into Screaming Frog. I'm gonna go into my configuration. I wanna make sure that I'm not crawling linked sitemaps. I wanna make sure that I'm checking external links. And I want to make sure that I'm only rendering text. If you render JavaScript, it's going to grab a bunch of odd things that you don't necessarily want. It can make it a little bit harder to read the uh, the Sheets document, which is why any links that you can only find through rendering JavaScript, you're going to have to manually search yourself. Or if you wanted to, you could mess, mess around with the doc and have it work um, while JavaScript rendering is enabled, uh, but that will take a little bit of extra work on your part. And I simply just haven't gotten around to doing that. So it's not a functionality built in as of this time. Anyways, we're going to change our mode to list. So this is where we're just going to paste because we already copied all the URLs and it automatically stripped anything that's not a URL. Then we're going to crawl this. The reason why we uncheck sitemaps is because right here, it just crawled all the sitemaps apparently I still have that checked. So let me just configuration, do not crawl sitemaps, start. And there, now we have six HTMLs, six all, otherwise you're gonna have HTML sitemaps in there that get pulled in. But from here, we're gonna go to bulk export all outlinks. So now we just exported every internal and external link on the site, meaning we have the links to our site and the links to everyone else's site and their own site. So this is gonna be a really messy document, but Sheets will automatically clean this up for us. So we're just gonna to go to import and we're gonna import our all outlinks CSV file that we just got from Screaming Frog. Place data selected cell, this is on the import sheet. And here we have this messy document of all the uh, link where it's from, where it's going and the anchor text used. So we have the data that we want in there, we just need to parse the data to get what we need. So let's go to the links file. So this is a little bit messy and I'll show you how to clean it up pretty easily. Uh, let me just remove that because you're gonna have to enter that yourself. Here we go. Uh, so this is how it's gonna look if you were to go through this process right now. It's gonna tell you the number of unique imports and how many links it found of, for you. Uh, so you want these numbers to match each other. And first you need to enter the client domain, the root domain, no HTTPS, no www just the root domain, so just in this case, diggitymarketing.com. And this will pull in anything that has the destination containing diggitymarketing.com in it. So we can see here that every once in a while we'll have an outlier like this. So all these other ones are completely valid. This just happens to have a string where diggity marketing shows up. So in this case, what we do, we'd come to tools, we come to macros, and we would do links paste, equa paste value. What this does is, let me run the script. And once you copy the sheet, you're gonna to have to authorize it on Google's end. So I'll just uh, pause the video and come back. Oh, here it is. And I'm gonna authorize it. Then it's gonna run the script. And this will just take all the links and paste them. So instead of having uh, equations, we can now just delete this line. Now we have our outliers gone. And because this, these were all text links, number of inputs, six, six unique URLs are inputted and the number of links it found was six. So this equals that's green. Um, if you somehow messed up, we can just reverse this by doing re replace equations and it'll just replace the equations for you. So what this will also do is this has this find manually for any links that it couldn't find the data you need for it. So we scroll down here to the bottom and I'll just manually input something here. Let's say we also had a link from example.com slash page, but because it couldn't find the destination on diggitymarketing.com, it's going to, let me just also redo the paste macro. 
get rid of that line. So we have seven unique URLs inputted, but we only found six links. So that's when we'd have our VAs or whoever go to the find manually. And instead of having to search these seven pages manually, you just have to search this one. It comes really handy, especially with citations. A lot of citation links are generated through JavaScript. Um, however, unless you crawl with JavaScript enabled, you're going to get a bunch of messy stuff. So I would say for every 50, let's say, citations that I import, I have to check or have someone check between five and seven of them on average. So instead of manually checking 50 URLs to find the anchor in the destination page to make sure it's all right, in this case, they're only checking uh, five to seven of them, which saves a whole lot of time. And that's how the sheet works. And then we enter in this information here. All right, that's the anchor, that's the destination. This also checks the manually uh, found sheet. So then it'll change the count. So in total, we found the same number that we imported. So we're good to go in this case. And then we can just copy this data into whatever we're using to track our links internally.